Dear students, today we are going to study Wishing, a poem written by Ella Wheeler Wilcox. Ella Wheeler Wilcox was an American writer. She is best known for her poems which are written in simple English and convey optimism and cheer. Some of her famous poems include Worthwhile, The Winds of Fate, The Voice of the Voiceless, and solitude, which contains the famous lines, laugh and the world laughs with you, weep and you weep alone. Wilcox also penned her autobiography titled The Worlds and I. About the poem. Wishing is a poem by Ella Villa Wilcox. The poem describes in three stanzas how to make the world better, wiser and happier. The poet tells us that even small acts of goodness can make the earth a better place and how we can all contribute to making each other happy. First stanza. Do you wish the world were better? Let me tell you what to do. Set a watch for your actions. Keep them always straight and true. Rid your mind of selfish motives. Let your thoughts be clean and high. You can make a little Eden of the sphere you occupy. It means the poet says that if we wish the world were a better place to live in, she would tell us what to do. We must keep an eye on all our actions and ensure that they are honest and true. We should rid our mind of all selfish motives and our thoughts should be not only clean but also noble. It means that we should not do anything for our personal gains and we should not have bad thoughts in our mind like thoughts of harming others or spoiling someone's reputation or name. We should think about the welfare of others and have only noble thoughts. If we do all this, then we can make a small Eden in the place we live in. It means that the place we live in will then be like Eden, the garden in which Adam and Eve first lived. In short, in this stanza, the poet says that we can make the world we live in a better place if our actions are straight and true, our mind is free of all selfish motives and our thoughts are clean and high. Stanza 2. Do you wish the world were wiser? Well, suppose you made a start by accumulating wisdom in the scrapbook of your heart. Do not waste one page on folly. Live to learn and learn to live. If you want to give men knowledge, you must get it or you give. In the second stanza, the poet tells us that we can make the world wiser if we want. We should begin by gathering wisdom in our heart, which is like a scrapbook. Not a single page of this scrapbook must be wasted on foolishness. We should live only to learn and learn how to live. If we wish to give knowledge to our fellow beings, we must first obtain it. In short, the poet says that if we want the world to become a wiser place, we should first learn to be wise and acquire knowledge before we can share it with our fellow beings. We should not waste our knowledge by doing foolish things. Stanza 3 Do you wish the world were happy? Then remember day by day just to scatter seeds of kindness as you pass along the way. For the pleasures of many may oft times trace to one, as the hand that plants an acorn shelters armies from the sun. Finally, if we wish the world were happier, we must remember to do little acts of kindness each day 
as we move forward on our paths in the journey of life. Very often, the source of the good things we enjoy can be one person. A single person's efforts can make a big difference. As an example, the poet says that the hand that plants an acorn is responsible for growing a strong oak tree, which can give shelter to armies from the scorching heat of the sun. In short, the poet says that if we want to make this world a happier place, we should be kind in our actions as our little acts of kindness can make many people happy and spread joy all around us.